Hey guys, what's up? I'd like to show you a program called FriendEye, which is a portable piece of software that allows you to change your brightness on your system easily. So all you need to do is uh, run the program, which I've done that already, and once you've got it, you just right click on it and you get this kind of Metro-esque style options thing come up, and you can then change your brightness. So there is a, a bar that you can actually use to change the brightness, but it doesn't actually do anything for me. The bar just sits there. So I just use this. So if I change it to 40%, as you can see in the background, my brightness has just changed to 40%, or 25, or 100, or 1. You're not going to really see 1, but you do see the change slightly. And then you've also got the option to make it um, black to PR or, or green. In case that's what you wanted to do, I just keep it to black, because um, it gives it more of a dimmed feeling rather than a, oh, let's just have a green background feeling. Uh, now, the only warning I do give is do not set it to 100%. If you set it to 100% and then you click close options, you can't see your screen. The only thing you can see is your mouse. So if you try to actually then get back into this option sentence again for your task, uh, for your tray, to get back into the options to change from 100%, you can't see it. Now, of course, this is a portable piece of software. Therefore, when you reload your machine, it's not going to reload automatically on its own. So you'd have to actually reboot your machine just to be able to see the screen again. So do not ever set it to 100%. So I like to set it to about 25%. If you then get bored of that setting to yourself, okay, I'd like my 100% back, just double click on the icon and you can get it back, which of course you can't do if you're on 100% because you can't see the icon. So just double click on it and you get the original brightness back. And as I say, it looks best around 25%, uh, but around 30 is decent as well. So if you don't like these videos, please go and subscribe. Hopefully this stops some people getting headaches or saves some power or whatever other reason you might want to just dim your screen for a bit. If you don't like these videos, please do comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.